right, Mary to Madison, season five, episode twelve, Island Fever. So Damon arrives. Jackie is upset because she cannot control the pace at which uh, she sees Curtis. <clears throat> but you ain't have to come on a trip, though. Uh, Curtis says that he will not, you know, get put out by anyone. I'm sorry about what anyone says or think. Jackie tells him to be mindful what he says and what he does because uh, he can, uh, you know, it can be misconstrued as disrespectful. But he doesn't care and he's just going to be him. Disrespectful as fuck. Heavenly takes Damon to uh, his father's uh, grave site. Um, his father wasn't there when uh, he was growing up, <clears throat> but rather than like let that break him down, he allowed it to push him in other different areas, you know, breaking the whole cycle. You know, he even said that uh, his father sent him money for a camp, but he got her two weeks after. So he said that if he ever had any problems, money would be one of them. And the fact that his father was not actually a part of his life, he made sure that when it came to his kids, that he would always be an active part of his kids' life. So nothing but respect there. What else? No, 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 no. Alright, so Greg is trying to be affectionate and quiet, just isn't having it. Both groups talk about, um, <clears throat> so the men and women are separate. They're both talking about uh, Damon's father or him uh, going to the grave and whatnot. And then you have quiet, you know, it's like, um, <clears throat> um, what, what did she say? <clears throat> Waitress, can you bring me some salt, some pepper, and some ketchup? And it just fucked up the whole entire mood, you know. Because uh, some whole thing is like, it's not about you. And that's one of those where she could have easily gotten up, grabbed those items, came back. But just fucked up the whole damn mood. So then they have the sex therapist. You have Curtis. He asks, how do you get your partner to try new things? And everybody looking at him just like, you the last motherfucker need to be talking. And they're right. Greg feels that, you know, if a woman is into them, that she'll do anything for them. And <clears throat> you can tell. Greg has a totally different way of thinking, has that whole caveman mentality of, you know, what a man role is and what a female role is, which is further causing him troubles. And I've seen on this season that Greg didn't shut the fuck up or just don't express his on camera. He's fucking himself up. <clears throat> Curtis wants Jackie to spend more time with him. The therapist says, um, you know, what she gives to her patient she needs to give to Curtis. Now, the infidelity never came up, but everybody was like, I mean, you had um, Dr. Contessa and Dr. Scott pretty much say that he's selfish as fuck because you knew what you were getting into when you married her. And everybody has that argument <clears throat> of, yeah, that's true, but I also agree with what the therapist said. But at the same exact time, I mean, if you know somebody has a profession or a job that takes them away if you get with them knowing that is what their job is it's not to say that you can't you can't feel a ways about it but you knew what you signed up for and I still feel that way about that <clears throat> so they uh, have a little medical mission Eugene and they're doing blood pressure and all this stuff and this isn't the first time they've done this on a uh, couple's trip it was nice to see Eugene get his blood pressure checked it is 180 over 110 and he says that he hasn't been taking his meds and then watching it, I felt so bad for myself <clears throat> because for the time that I was gone, because my schedule was all was always off and my shift started at night. So I, I would wake up in my tent and everything. And it's just like trying to hurry up and get changed. It's coldish and every all this other stuff making excuses. But I did not take my blood pressure medicine for pretty much that whole duration. So watching it, I'm just like, like. Uh, guilty. <clears throat> All right, so they're on the boat. <clears throat> Contessa and Mariah begin to bomb. Mariah says that you know her um, tone may be off. Contessa says that well, your tone is no different from others. Mariah used this as a way to you know call Simona to it, <clears throat> and Mariah says there is a double standard. Qua says to Mariah, "It's not that if someone calls you out on your BS." It's not that you are being attacked. Mariah's like, well, nobody calls you out on your BS. 
everybody walks on eggshells around you because you're the youngest and they don't want to hurt your feelings. Simone says that, you know, they have taken the light on Kwa because she's sensitive. Those who get into it, it's a to be continue. I didn't want to write any of the shit down because I'm pretty sure they're going to replay that and give us more on the next episode, which I thought would have came out yesterday, but it didn't. So <clears throat> I got three more reviews for y'all. Guilty confession. I'm about to go sit and throw me a damn piece in the motherfucking oven. Hopefully by the time I get done with these damn three reviews, that that piece is done so I can eat that while I'm editing these videos. I'll be right back.